What's going on Facebook? Doing a quick live program here because I want to talk about how important it is to repurpose everything that you do. People who we help write books. I'll give you an idea if you don't know who I am on Instagram or on Facebook. My name is Mike Fallett and I help entrepreneurs write and publish best-selling books and then I teach them how to use it as the ultimate marketing tool through a company called DreamStartersUniversity.com. Here's a couple books right here. It's mine. It's Lloyd Williams. You can go to LloydWilliamsPhD.com. Get a free copy of his book. Multi-level millionaire. You can go to CedricPenn.com and get a free copy of his book. Lynette Farlow, Profit From Your Pain. Turned her into a bestseller. Awesome book. Margot Sandys. If you build it, life will come. Go to margosandy.com. M-A-R-G-O-T Sandy.com. James Gurick, get a free copy of his. JamesGurick.com. Just a thought. Guy beat cancer at 16 years old. This guy right here, Cedric Penn. No, for he's giving away free copies of this, but this was a bestseller on Amazon. You can get it, I believe, right now it's $14.95 on Amazon. Something I recommend. Highly recommend. Anyway, when you're writing your, your first book, remember, it's just a tool to get you where you want to go. Repurpose everything that you're doing. Don't waste time. If it's just you're just a solo entrepreneur, it's just you doing everything. Accounts receivable, accounts payable making contacts, closing deals, doing the work itself, uh, doing the social media. If you can cut a little bit of that out, you could save yourself some time. When you write a book and you start thinking of ways and maybe even short quotes, maybe different pictures, different things you say in the book, remember you're able to use that someday in the future on your Twitter posts, on your Instagram, on your Facebook posts, on LinkedIn, copy and paste things. For example, not too long ago, I didn't have anything to post about a half hour ago. What I did was I went through my book, took a little quote, popped it on my LinkedIn, which is automatically linked to my Twitter, and, and have something to post that's related to my book. You want people to give a, get a real good glimpse of who you are, what you have to offer, what's going through your mind. You'll see Grant Cardone, Patrick Bet David, Gary Vaynerchuk, they're repurposing. Sometimes they're repurposing on a much different level than, than small entrepreneurs. The reason why is when they do a video, they'll have a team of people watch that video and then they'll take what they say in that video and write blogs, write LinkedIn posts, write Twitter feeds, write whatever it is. They're going to take their words and just put it out everywhere. It's going to save that entrepreneur a lot of time. Now you could do that on a smaller level by writing a book using whatever you write in that book, however much time that takes. I used to write at five in the morning every day. You would write in, in the morning, whatever you gotta do to get that book done. But once the book is done, it's there forever. You can draw from it constantly for either videos, which you can get a copy of my book. Just send me your email, I'll send you a free copy. I'll show you what I mean. But people are going to get a glimpse of who you are. We do audio books for people. Highly recommend that you turn your book into an audio book, chapter by chapter. Why is that important? Because a lot of people don't want to sit down and read books anymore, if they, especially if they don't know who the hell you are. But they will listen to it. They will watch videos. And if you're able to do this constantly, thanks, Bill. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> and if you're able to do this and give your copy of your, your book away, build a relationship up with not only giving them insight of who you are and what you have to offer through your Twitter posts, your Instagram, your, your Facebook posts, but also giving them a free copy of your book. So the more attention that you're able to gain from them, they might spend the time to actually read the book. Creating audiobooks is one of the best ways for them to hear your voice. Maybe this one chapter, let's see here. It might take this one chapter uh, 10 minutes, maybe even five minutes to read. But for them to actually sit down and read it, it's going to take them a lot of effort and energy that they don't really want to put into yet. What's up, guys? Lady Jonita, quotes by Gabriella. Drake, how you doing, buddy? Drake, I think we're going to do the, the ghost tour tomorrow. 
right? If you're still there, I don't know if you're still watching. But Ghost Tour tomorrow in Pittsburgh. Um, but the key is to repurpose everything. When you're writing, don't just write to just get your story down. Remember that you're going to use that for audiobooks, for other videos, for other social media posts, whatever you can do to save time. You could, and this is a smart move, and I've done this in the past, where you write the book and then you have somebody else go through the book and take the material itself and repurpose it on your social media accounts. Now you can do that. You can pay somebody to do that. That's a smart move, but it's, it's, it's easier probably for you to write it and then for you to just schedule it on a thing called yeah. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. That's right, Jeff. Jake. Sorry, buddy. I'm in the zone here, man. Saturday. I hope you watched the it video, by the way, Drake. Did you watch it? I hope you watched it. Anyway. Yes. Yes. And Drake, one of our prestigious colleagues, is will help out with the audiobooks. If you create your book and you spend the time whether you go through us or whether you write on your own. See, we offer two different services. You can write the book yourself or we could listen to your story and then we take your story, put it into a book, and then we give you the book that you can do everything with it. Now, we'll turn you into a bestseller. We'll build a web page. We have a service that we can help you create an audio book. And Drake Duncan is one of the people that will help out with that. And then you're able to have YouTube videos. So if somebody searched your name on YouTube, your audiobook will pull up instantly. And you can take that audiobook and then you can pop pop it on Instagram. And you can take that audiobook and short little files, of course, one minute long. The key is your book now is being rebranded, repurposed all over your social media. Snapchat, you can put it on, and it's just of somebody else reading your book. The more videos of your book, it's going to help you with your search engine optimization. Your content is going to just pop up immediately on Google or on YouTube. And then you take those videos and you pop it on your website, which is going to add relevancy. Everything that you do, everything you write, everything you create should be used tomorrow. Don't just use it for today. Use it for tomorrow. If you could save time by having the work already done for you and you just kind of Flip it up and use it a week from now, a month from now. That book that I wrote, there's pieces of it that I wrote in 2008. You know, just something that I put together in 2008 that I really important. And I'm still using it to this day. All the great professionals out there are all repurposing their content. Give you another example. If I don't have anything to post, I try to do three blog posts every week. If I don't have anything to post, I'll go back into my book and pull something from my book and post it as a blog, which gives me more content, which adds relevancy, which now I can take a video from one of my audio books, pop it in there, and it just adds one more thing that I can have in my, in my gun to shoot out to the world so you can see who I am, what I have to offer, my voice, what's important to me, what I know. And people who do not do this are always constantly trying to think of new content. And when you're struggling to get new content, you're going to get frozen. You're going to get pissed off. If you're always searching for new stuff, don't reinvent the wheel. When the book is written, use that. What's going on, Garima? How you doing? I love that you're so active on my feed. That's great. But the more that you're able to do it one time and then use that content for other things, it's going to make your life so much easier. When you write your book and what we do, and Every time we try to write a book for people, we think of down the line, are they able to repurpose this for something else? Using quotes, very, very, very important in your book. Yes, your book is going to be your story, but there should be a message attached to your story per chapter. We're all about telling your story in a fast, effective way, but having a message per chapter, which relates back to the cover of the book. Nobody gives a shit about your story unless they can learn something from you. Any questions out there? Hi, what's going on exclusive, MD Gambu, ladies versus globe, lady versus globe, hmm, I dig that, any questions on Facebook, and whether you're watching this now or later on in a replay, if you want me to send you a free copy of my book, put your email below, if you're looking for Lloyd's book, Margot's book, Cedric's book, I can direct you to their website, I've said it in this video, but if you can't watch the whole thing, I know you guys are busy. 
any questions regarding thrifty flippers thrifty flippers that's an awesome name I hope you're into flea markets Sundays are my big flea market day anybody have any questions reach out to me my email is mfallet at dreamstarterspgh.com write a book with a purpose think about where you want to go a year from now reverse engineer who you are and what you want get it back to day one today and then figure out a way to design or create a book become an expert in your industry to get you to that level that you seek while you're writing your book remember to repurpose everything think about your social media strategy behind it give the book away to as many people as possible after yes Direct, direct message me your email, exclusive inspirations. After you turn it into a bestseller, give the book away. Why is that? Because the book then can be put on Amazon for $14.95, $10, bucks, 20 bucks, and when you give it to somebody, it holds more value. You want to give away something of value. Otherwise, you're giving away nothing. Yes, please direct message me. Once again, here's the books, Table of Dreams, all bestsellers, that's what we guarantee. Our ghostwriting service, we just hired two more ghostwriters. It's going to be really exciting. Nobody has any questions. 97% of people who start a book never finish it because it is pretty difficult to actually finish a book. It can get bogged down quite easily, and you, you could get lost. Shit gets in the way, you don't know what to do, and um, you don't know where to take the book, and then you start questioning yourself whether you should be writing a book in the first place, who actually cares about your story. What we try to do is we speed up that process, get the book done, use that to get to the next level. If you want to write another book, you can. Use that to get to the next level. Write another book, get to the next level. The more books you have are like trophies. The process takes from start to finish 30 to 60 days. What I need from you is basically a commitment that I get two to three hours of interview time with you. Give you an example of what happens. Our cost to do everything is 3,495 bucks. We break it up into payment plans. If you're able to do 500 bucks a month, we would start. I set up a time to interview you. When I interview you, it's gonna last about an hour and a half. We like to do back-to-back -back days, an hour and a half one day, an hour and a half the next day. I get three hours of content. I hear your story. I ask you where you want to take this book. I give you my insight. I tell you exactly what we think we can do with what you already have done. I take your story, and I tie it into basically, it could be a linear story. It could be 20 short stories of your life. But then I tie a message to each one of those short stories. And then each one of those messages tie back to the cover, which is basically a how-to book. I'll give you an example. I'm working with an individual that I just got off the call with, and he is a uh, fights for he, he fights with all kinds of UFC people. He was actually trained by Randy Couture. And what we're doing basically is turning his book into a way of showing people how to uh, train like a champion, uh, fight through difficult times in their life. I'm not going to give all the details until it's finalized, but we just got off the call with him, and that's what we could do with you. Kirky Hines! But yeah, since I just got off the call with that guy from the UFC, uh, what we're doing is I take that his story and his, his messages, put it into a book. My writer, either I'll write it or I have two ghost writers who will write the story with my direction since I'm more of the marketing guy. We tie the story together. I send you chapter per chapter over, get your approval. Once we get your approval, I'll put it on Amazon, turn it into a bestseller, which is guaranteed. It sounds crazy, but since I know the, the, the system of turning it from just a regular book, I position it into a certain genre. I get the leverage of my network and then the timing of people buying at a certain day at a certain time. Turn it into a bestseller, then I build a web page to give the book away. Then I show you a social media strategy, and then that's, you're able to brand yourself out from that. And then I also show you how to repurpose. This is what this whole thing we're, we're talking about, is repurposing your content. The book, once it's done, you have that content to draw on for the rest of your life. Take those little clips from it, pop it in your Instagram, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter. You automate it 
There's a couple ways to do that. You can use a program that we use. I'll show you that if you join us. Or you can use uh, Hootsuite. Hootsuite, you can automate your messages. Really smart to do. And uh, if you have any questions, I think it's exclusive inspirations. Send me your email. I'll send you more details. And it takes 30 to 60 days. Anybody on Facebook have any questions or anything regarding writing your book or how we do things? No? Thanks, Kirky. Appreciate it. I hope that pool is going. I'm going to stop by that pool tomorrow. Kirky Hines, I think you're building a pool nearby. Uh, I'm going to stop by most likely. Thoughts on Russell Brunson? Yeah, he's a smart guy. And he does funnels. Uh, you know, everybody's doing funnels. When everybody does a funnel, you don't stand out. You're not, you don't differentiate yourself. Uh, it's difficult to stand out then, and I hate that. I don't do his program. I don't use it. I think he's a really smart guy. He knows his stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm a big believer in uh, – in, in helping people tell their story rather than here's a copy and paste method uh, with computer programs. It's just not me. I'm able to use what I do and my strengths to, to, uh, to help me get my book out there, my brand, but Russell does know his stuff. Any other questions, exclusive inspirations? No? Okay. Cool. Appreciate it, guys. Let me know if you guys have anything else. And uh, you know my Instagram, M, uh, the Dream Starter on Instagram, on Facebook. My last name is Fallot. If you want to connect with me, if you're on Instagram, you go on, on Facebook. Uh, it's the best way to do it. And then you can always, always go on my website, dreamstartersuniversity.com. No boss, you're killing it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I'll, I'm here for you, okay? See you guys.